Welcome back to Spectacle Island for episode five with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's just before 4 p.m. I went down to the dock, grabbed the planter. The actual capacity for the planter for seed isn't that high. As you can see, let's fold that away. I'm going to put corn in this and I'll probably do a bit of sugar beating. The other thing I was going to do... Oh, chicken's already underway, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on the eggs for that. I'm also thinking about... Dairy sheep. I was thinking about doing sheep's milk. Using that modded sheep uh, pen. Just an idea. What might be something a bit different to try as well? While I'm doing this, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone. All the comments, like I said in the last episode, um, I hadn't been on the comments over the weekend because I've been away for the weekend. and They, they do rack up. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone who's commented on the first few episodes on here. Thank you for the positivity. And for the suggestions and various different things. Now I want a quick shout out to Eric and Tyler. That will become a little bit clearer later. But loads of people giving suggestions and ideas regarding the barge and accessing it for vehicles and that kind of thing. Like I say, we're going to have a look at that in a little while. And I think it's great. Um, now, as far as I, when I said about doing this for me and having a go with, with different mods and stuff that, you know, I haven't used before and ones that I kind of slipped through the net and I didn't get a chance to use again I really massively appreciate all the people that are commenting and leaving ideas and things and saying I, sh I should try certain mods and things like that obviously I won't be able to try all of them uh, but a few people you know it's that thing of you know you do so many mods uh, so many mods come out so many mod reviews and there's ones you think oh yeah I, I didn't use that or I forgot about that and then someone will message and you think you know what I had completely forgotten about this mod that mod X Y you know whatever it might be so like I say I can't do all of them but I will do a few a few have popped up and I thought oh yeah you know what hadn't even crossed my mind so we'll get onto that yeah I just think yeah we'll do regular sheep for the wool but we'll also do uh yeah, sheep milk. Why not? We'll give it a go. We're going to have to find somewhere to place the pen. But, yeah. All good. Not quite sure how long today's episode is going to be. Because I have to go and collect Sealy E.G. from Sixth Form College. So I'm waiting for a call. I don't know when that's going to be. So at some point I may have to shoot off. In which case this may be a little bit shorter than I hoped. But I'll try and get as much done as I possibly can. The seed is going to run down fairly quickly on this. But I can just whiz backwards and forwards and grab some more. I mean the answer to that is uh, to grab myself a front tank. Which I don't know why I didn't think about it. One of my usual devoted stats is it the F FH2200. I want to say FH. Now, because I came over and sprayed this one and filled two, did I just miss a bit? Yeah, it bumped. Without changing the state of the field, so I could have come over and then cultivated it again, which would have changed the state. If I'd have put fertilizer into this as well, because it takes seed and fertilizer, I, it wouldn't. The fertilizer wouldn't have gone down. It would have been coming out of the tank, but it wouldn't have actually changed the the, the state. It's weird how that happens with fertilising but it, all it comes down to is changing the state of the field normally I get all my fertilising done before I even put seed down but obviously this way around is a little bit different that's going to bug me now under planters yeah FH2200 and again I know I say about using different mods, and I, know I think there's probably... Someone actually asked me. Again, we're, we're around that thing about FS22, and someone asked me, um, 
about doing my top 10 favorite mods or top five and that kind of thing seeing as fs19 is wrapping up again it, it is but not for another five months or so it's going to be a while before fs22 comes out we've still i think everyone's kind of gone right that's it walk away there's no point playing it anymore it's it's odd and, you know we, we have still got just under six months until the new version comes out but anyway um as far as it goes with my sort of top 10 mods kind of thing there are some times where you go through and think, you know what, I want to try something new, I want to give something else a go. But there are some times when you come in and think, you know what, that is, as far as I'm personally concerned, the best thing for the job. And for me, that front tank, eight grand, 2,200 litres, it will do seed or it will do fertiliser. Brilliant. Now, I know that the, the Lemkin Solitaire is only 200 litres less, but it only does... Um, fertilizer there are some other ones knocking around but that one works really well i've just found it very useful this capacity is pretty good so you know what i think i think there's a modded one actually i don't know if i've got it installed no probably not there is a modded one knocking around somewhere as well i think one you can change all the colors and stuff on it but i'm not too bothered about that so you know what let's buy one because that's going to work really well in conjunction with the planter so it would be great if i turn the planter back on so yeah, it's a weird one. I, I'm, I, I don't want to annoy people. I, when I said I've, I've been talking to Jim, and it's no different to. That's a weird one. I've been criticised for it a lot in the past um, about being a Jim fanboy and that kind of thing. We're friends. <laughs> it's not necessarily fanboy, I suppose. It depends how you view it. But we've been friends for a very long time. When Jim first started making Sussex Farms, his first map on FS17. And we'd already chatted when I was doing the um, farm visits videos then. And we went to, we did a farm visits video with Jim. And I, I barely knew him then. We kind of, you know, had a bit of a chat and we did a video and lovely, lovely guy. And all the way through the, the progress of him doing Sussex Farms, the original version, he sent me pictures right from the very first one where he was just building the farmhouse. There was nothing else on the map at all, just the farmhouse. And he was building all that and I was amazed because I was kind of, you know, I was YouTubing but I was fairly new to it and was like, wow, this, is a, this guy's a map maker and this is amazing. And we've been friends ever since and, and we, we chat every now and again and, you know, Jim will send me pictures and show me things and, you know, you know what do you think kind of thing and we'll bounce ideas backwards and forwards and so yeah it's it's weird when people get kind of a bit bent out of shape over it you know if one of your friends said i'm going to make a map wouldn't you be pleased for them wouldn't you be happy and you'd want to show it off to people wouldn't you i mean there's always that worry and that that thing of you think you know what if what if when jim had first messaged me you know like a lot of people comment and they message me and send me you know stuff and ideas and whatever what if he'd said and i was like yeah brilliant great and the map had been awful you know you imagine what you do then at that point it's like you know you've kind of built up this rapport this friendship and you know can't wait for the map to come out and when it does you know i want to play on it and i want to show it off and then it comes out and it's awful <laughs> what do you do then i've been incredibly lucky because jim's very very good at what he does you know and his maps work and they're functional and they're functional and they're playable and the ideas and things you come up comes up with are great and like i said before you know there's that thing of there are maps that are playable there are maps that are pretty and some of the really pretty maps aren't that playable and then you've got maps you know across all varying different degrees of you know what i mean you know what i'm saying but and what i love about jim is you know there's something in the pipeline now that he's messaged me about and it's straight off the back of one me doing my let's play but feedback from everyone out there you know people commenting and saying oh you know about whatever it is on the map and jim goes away and thinks you know what yeah i can do something about that and he does you know and that's that's brilliant so yeah of course i'm gonna of course i'm gonna say stuff so yeah i went on that note yeah well i'm talking about that um 
on the rating thing and i'm terrible for it it's like the likes and dislikes on videos and that kind of thing you know when people say oh, don't forget to hit the like button i'm just as bad at it you know I'll, i watch loads of different youtubers and i'll watch a video and come off it and think oh i didn't like it oh, i'll do it later and then you, you don't you know and if someone said to you did you like the video yeah i loved it it's brilliant you think but i still didn't leave a like um same with the ratings on maps you know the, the better the ratings, the more downloads, that kind of thing. And, you know, for map makers out there, I think they only get paid a little bit if you hit a certain amount of downloads or something, something along those lines. So if you have downloaded the map, if you are enjoying it, if you do like it, don't forget to hit that rate thing, you know? Hit that rate thing. For Jim, you know? He's a sound bloke. Anyway, enough Jim fanboying. I'm going to finish off doing this. I will refill this. I'm actually going to whiz down. I'm going to pick up the front tank, I think. And I think what I'm going to do after this, I'll probably see you in the morning for the next bit, I'm thinking. Probably. I'm going to pick up some gold. I'm going to go around. The stuff around the yard. I haven't done it yet, so don't all leave in your droves. I know someone commented the other day and said, please don't spoil it for me. I want to find them. At that point, you can close your eyes. Oh, poor Andrew is probably, and you can come back when I've got the stuff loaded up. We're ready to go. If you don't want to know where the stuff is, I'm not going to go around and do all the gold on the map on camera, but I'm going to take a little bit of it in a little while. Right, let's do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that back down. I'm going to just go and grab the tank bring that back and I should have enough with 2,200 litres in there so rather than refill the seed I'm just going to go to the tank um, while I'm doing that as well again I think I mentioned it before um, on one of the other videos about the gold situation and again there's that you know whether you're for it against it anti it you know um, there will be people that won't touch it with the barge pole um, it's too easy to make money it's a cheat and that kind of thing and I've said before, it's no different to the gold nuggets that were on maps when giants used to do it, the gold coins that were on maps. And again, but you have the choice. You don't have to do them. I'm not saying you have to do them. I'm not saying you have to, in any way, shape or form. I'm really not. But what I did say right at the start of doing this Let's Play was I was going to showcase as best as I could everything that was on the map. It's not necessarily about making money on this one it's about i mean i do need to make money i want to make money because i want to buy more machinery and bigger machinery and that kind of thing oh, oh tree stump but um I've, i, I want to show i want to show it off you know that's part and parcel so a lot of people have been saying they've been landscaping these bits here and putting um little those wooden bridges and stuff because the gaps between are quite wide good call field three is done and i'm also i've hired a worker and we are now putting our second load of fertilizer down on here our first two fields that we planted have gone into their first growth state so what i can now do is get my fertilizer spreader to get over all of them now what i'm now doing is moving this as you can see i've got the front went down and collected it the front tank I'm going to top all this off actually I don't know if I need to for sugar beet well, actually what I'll do is I'll use what I've got in here we'll see what we end up so that one's yeah that's growing now that's got canola in that one's got wheat in we'll get over those and get those fertilized which means yeah field three is over in the second second coat now we'll do field four we'll come back over and do one and then two we're working on now I'm not doing the whole field sugar beet, like I said, I'm probably going to do half of it sugar beet and I might do the other half soybean, it doesn't really matter what I do the other half. I suppose I could do another wheat or a barley, because I can use that for the pigs or the chickens, whereas, I mean soybeans are profit crop, but it's an expensive one to use to feed the pigs. Mind you, so canola can be as well, it, you know. Right, fold that up. Um, switch over to sugar beet. Let's go. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's get a sugar beet in. 
So, regardless of what I said earlier, I, I, I was going to say I'd, I'd see you again in the morning. What happened there? Ah, oh, this is weird. Somebody messaged. Who messaged something about field two? Oh, what was it? I have ploughed this. What was the issue with field two? It's allowed me to plough sugar beet. Okay. If I hire a worker, that works. That's odd. I'll have to try the edge again in a minute. Is this something I was doing? I just don't know. Let's try and go back the other way, see if that works. How odd? It was definitely on, it was definitely down. Ah, uh, it's the angle. It's because it's lifted a big chunk of it out. It's the sweep of the actual hillside, isn't it? Isn't it? Someone's doing it? Yeah. It's fine in spots. But as soon as it lifts one end, this one doesn't flex in the middle. Probably another reason why one of the DBs would work quite well. Yeah. Isn't that mad? Well, well, well. Maybe this was not the planter. Or I just landscape it a little bit. Mildly frustrating, but not the end of the world. Yeah. I'll do as far over as I possibly can. Every time it stops, I'll, uh, I'll worry about that later. I will now, I will see you in the morning. I'm going to get the rest of this done. Let's get what we're going to do next. Sort it out. Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is. It's 8.22 in the morning. I have actually turned the growth down to normal. I normally have it on fast when I'm not doing seasons or precision farming or whatever. Um, I might well turn it back up to fast at some point, but in all honesty, I've got other jobs I need to do, and I don't want it all going too quickly. So our wheat is now doing well. I ended I ended up putting sugar beet in the whole thing. Nah, why not? Doesn't matter, does it? And if we look at our map, we shall see they are all fully fertilized and we are good to go another thing i've been doing is scoping out sites for like i said about doing a sheep milk pasture so i've been having a look at areas for that and overnight i was a little bit busy kind of yeah moving a few things around for the next bit as the thumbnail has probably alluded to I was going to put, I was going to call it Docks and Gold, and then I thought, Goldie Docks, why not? It just kind of made sense. So, what I'm going to do now is collect up um, some of, if not all of the gold from around the yard, put it in the back of the Land Rover. Now, I could drive it over to the to the gold mine. Again, I, and then honestly, I don't mind, I really don't mind, I <laughs> don't mind what the price is. Oh, flibberty gibbets. It was a 16 plus, and now it's dropping from 14. But like I said before, it's free money. It, it, it's okay. Doesn't matter what I get for it. It's all over and above 
So yeah, I'm going to collect up some of the gold bars, put them in the back of the Land Rover, and we're going to take them by barge with the Land Rover. <laughs> this this could go horribly wrong. Now the first one I want to grab is behind the chicken coop. And it's just there. There's one in the workshop. There's one in the pig pen. This is just from going around doing stuff around the yard. There are a couple over there. I do not want to drop this, whatever happens. Which could be a problem here. Please don't drop them fall through the floor. And I'm hoping it will sit in the back of the Land Rover. Now, these can't strap down, which um, I think Baron Papa messaged me. He put them on an NMC pallet. I think he was hoping they were going to strap down. Please don't fall through the back of the Land Rover. Please just sit in there nice and neatly. It's like, it's like a farm version of the Italian job. Yeah, look. <laughs> when you put the weight in there. <laughs> oh, dear. Reinforced minis. That's what we need. It is. I also say a slightly crap version of the Italian job, but it's not. It's Land Rovers. That's cool. Minis and Land Rovers. Oh, watch that. Right. Let's grab the one from here. There are a few around the yard. There might be four. I'm trying to think four or five, is it, around the yard? Let's put that down. Hopefully next to it. Whoa, hold your horses. Like I said, I don't want to drop it and it disappear. I, I love the fact it has weight. There's something Jim was saying when I was talking to him originally about it. And he said he didn't want them to be too big. They had to be gold bar-esque. He did have a fiddle around with the sizes and the dimensions, but if they went any bigger, because he wanted to give them the, the physics of being heavy, they then became too heavy. It's, it's not something you kind of give much thought to. You just think, oh, yeah, they're here, you know, let's let's crack on with it. I'm trying to think. There's definitely one in the pig pen. It's so frustrating that I went round and got them all then. It's been, a, it's been a while since I kind of did all of that and then lost my piece of paper with all my coordinates on and all the details. Again, my own stupid fault. I thought there was one inside one of the actual pigsty bits, but there's not. I might have dreamt that. Don't drop it. I'm going to put that away. So yeah, once I've got the gold... I mean, it's a means to an end. I, I, I was going to do the gold or do some of the gold, and then I was going to show you some stuff. Now, the next bit is based solely on um, subscriber or subscriber viewer responses. I always say subscriber. I, I always say that a kind of assumption that if people are viewing, they're subscribed. That's not always the case. Some people view and don't subscribe or aren't subscribed. But I always say subscribers. It's just a force of habit. Put that one there. And it was when I was saying earlier about Actually, it'd probably be easier if I took the, took the Land Rover to it, wouldn't it? Let's fold the back up. I don't want these disappearing off anywhere, but we should be okay. Oops. They will move around a little bit. Not all I can do about that. I'll tidy them up. I'm racking my brains now, thinking. I know there were a few around the yard. Oh, I'm sure. I'll, I'll find any more if there are. There's definitely one over here. And going down this slope's not going to help. Yeah, so, regarding the barge, and I, like I said, I kind of alluded to it earlier. Different ideas that people had for getting on and off of the barge with vehicles. Some of which I have tried and were okay. One I tried and was really hoping it was going to work. Um, the person that sent me the message, or was it a picture as well? I think it might have just been a message. I may have done something completely wrong. I can't really get it to work particularly well. I, I will show you it. Uh, they had an idea that I had originally thought of myself. Not originally, I mean, I'm sure other people did. But it was, it was my solution to the problem when I first thought, oh, I wonder how we could do it. It's, it's what my brain went to. But then there are some other really, really cool ideas, which I absolutely think are brilliant. Let's tidy that up there. Right, that's four. And there's two over there. Right. Think, 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 think. I'm sure it's just the four. I 
don't know why I had it in my head there was one in one of these. There's not, is there? I'm pretty sure there's not. I thought there was one. Oh, I don't know. Nope, I think there's something else. I don't think there's any further over. There wasn't one of the chickens that I recall. Uh, the the uh, sheep pen. Pretty sure. That's it. Well, we'll take those. And let's head down and I'll show you what I mean. Now, I, depending on what my thumbnail is going to be, because at this point I haven't done my thumbnail. You've probably already seen one of them, but we'll go into a little bit more detail. Plus, as I've said before, any of the mods, if I, if I remember, I know sometimes, I'm, like I said, there are ones that I use all the time, ones I get into the habit of using because I really like them. And I forget. I forget that I use them a lot. And I just kind of put them in, and in my head it almost becomes, yeah, well, they're kind of base game ones, and they're not. Uh, one was the high dump bucket I'm using, the 8,000 litre high dump by Agrotechnic Nord Eiffel. So what I will absolutely do is uh, make sure the mods I'm using are in the description. So a lot of these bits and bobs I will show you. So, barge is here. One of them was this one here. And it was the, uh, what was it called? My mind's gone blank. The Quad Transport by Cyril Modding 88. That was one. And in essence, that was initially, because I thought loading, uh, low loader, low boy, as someone commented, uh, that works perfectly, because that's on, off. The problem I found was, and I, may, I may need a tractor with a higher three-point link, I've tried front, back, and that kind of thing. It wasn't quite high enough. I picked up the crane, it, it picked up the crane. I put it down on there and it sat fine until I tried to drive a vehicle over it and then it went a little bit skittish, which is a pity because I really thought that was going to work. So, yeah, unfortunately. Now, my idea initially was low loader. Only downside to the low loader plan is there's a lot of kind of battles and forwards. I mean, it's, it's not a major issue, but the point being that wherever you want to put onto the barge you put your ramps down, you put it on and you back up he says, hopefully not hitting the barge, because I did that earlier when I practiced then open it up and then your ramps I mean obviously this one, that kind of puts them on, off but the ones where you can fold the ramps down and you can adjust them manually, that way the wheels won't be off the floor, so it depends what low loader you're using, but then all you do is whatever you've got on there, you drive off the back and onto here, which is great only downside to that one being if you've got a lorry that you want to put on there, maybe that might be a little bit trickier. Something with a trailer, but that will work if you want to put something onto it. Now, I will suggest again, if you are going to put something on there, because the barge has straps, using these belt supports that come with the T-Rex, T-Rex 6 by Black Sheep Modding, are probably a great idea. And I'm going to use one for the barge in a minute. So that was kind of my idea. And loads of people suggested that as well. So that wasn't like I say. That's, I'm not taking credit for that. But. What I am going to do. Is take the barge. And I'm going to show you the one that I've gone for. Um, I think it might have been Tyler that suggested this one. Initially. Loads of people have. Like I say. Not just Tyler. This was not my idea. This was Tyler's. But then loads and loads of people come in to say about using it. This makes use of the bridge pack. The bridge pack by Sandhill Modding. And it takes a little bit of landscaping and a little bit of fiddling around here and there to get it just right. But I tried to do it on the dock area. Someone had sent me a picture of it on the dock area and I couldn't get it to work on the dock area. So what I've done is the bridge is kind of built into the you make a little mound, you get the mound the right height, like I say, it takes a bit of fiddling. And then you put the bridge on, and then what should happen is, you drive up your boat, like that. And if you get it just right, look at that. I tell you what. Now that did take a bit of fiddling. Doesn't matter if you've got a bit of a bump up or down. And then you landscape a little bit the other end, so it's nice and smooth there. And you've made yourself a little dock. Now this has obviously got 
is cantilevered, so you've got a lot of support down here underground to support that. That's not just going to tip into, you know, this is probably is anchored into the Earth's core. <laughs> For those engineers out there that are already going, wow, that'll fall into the water. No, no, I've, I've properly supported that. That's that's good to go. <laughs> so, Goldie Docks. Let's take our gold onto our new dock, onto the barge. Oh, that was it. Hang on. Let me grab one of those. Then we'll take the barge. We'll get off at the other end. And hopefully... Ha 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 ha. Hopefully this works. Oh. Now, it, would it be quicker to drive? At this point, yes, but the success because I'm showing you. Um, let's strap that on. Because I'm showing you all of these various different things. Had I just driven up, got straight on the barge and gone, it wouldn't have been an issue. So straight up. And on. Look at that! A barely, like an imperceptible little... I love it, I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. Now bear with me a minute, because I've got to get a thumbnail. At this point, it's worth point... Is that this point, it's worth pointing out. And the thing about the gold bars not strapping down... I just put the straps on, on the barge, to see where they were, so I could use that. And watch what happens when I get into the Land Rover. If I drive forwards, those gold bars are locked in place by the strap. So technically my Land Rover is actually not going to go anywhere because the gold bar, yes admittedly the strap's going right through the Land Rover, but hmm, that's interesting. So what I think I might do, I might use this as well, and see if the strap does go over the top of it. Because I am curious now. So it will strap a vehicle down. That's held in place now. It shouldn't go anywhere. I was just worried about moving the barge and the, it rolling off into the water, losing the gold bars and the vehicle and it all being an absolute nightmare. Uh, other suggestions that have been made, and I was going to message Jim actually to ask him because I wasn't sure, was the fuel situation because you refuel here at the dock. To go to the sawmill one back and it uses a fair bit of fuel, that if you run out you're going to be in trouble. People have, or the suggestion has been, that people have taken the fuel, the fuel uh, tankers that Jim provides under miscellaneous that will do your propane and fuels and all those kind of things. They've put one out at the sawmill so the barge can refill out of the sawmill. Now I haven't tried that myself personally but that's what's been suggested that that will work. But as you can see we're transporting a vehicle on the barge. We've got it on there okay. It will strap down. Um, using those belt support things work really well. And the last of the, the bridge ideas, um, this I think was Eric who originally suggested this one, but again quite a few people did, is the NMC bridge mats. The NMC bridge mats by North Modding Company. Now I'm not going to the sawmill, I'm going to the bit closest to the gold mine and there's a dock there. Now again, you have to be careful. Now I'm doing that for a reason. If you look under the water, when you get to the edges, they slope up. You don't want to get caught on those slopes. You want to try and stay out as much as you can into the middle. Where some of these concrete docks are, and there's one over by the spinnery, it's the spinnery over there, isn't it? Where they're more slab-sided, you can actually get this up alongside those dock areas, which is great. Again, you have to be careful building out like I did there and putting one of the little bridges on, the bridge pack by Sandhill Modding. That works well too. But what we're going to do is um, hopefully... <laughs> I must admit, I put them down and I thought, I'm sure they're going to be too high. And they may be. I don't know if they're going to move around. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. But again, it's worth looking at. It's an option. I personally think I'm going to try at each of the points I want to take stuff to 
I might do the bridge pack, a little bit of landscaping and do that bridge so I can pull right up against it and I can load and unload vehicles without any problems. I haven't got to use low loaders, ramps, I can, but if this might work, I don't know, you know, I haven't tried this yet. So this is going to be a kind of first for me and for you all at the same time. I know I'm using the barge again, but last time I used it, it was for logs. This time it's a vehicle. I know it's probably not what Jim originally intended it for. But you can load pallets and stuff on this as well, because there is a barge sell point for various different commodities, which we will get to at some point too. Now, at least uh, Skister Loader, don't own that. At least that. And I also leased the NMC bridge mats because I wasn't sure how they were going to work. And if they do work, they'll buy some and put them in place or like I say, I'll do a bit of landscaping or I'll do something. Now, what I've got to do, hopefully, is bring this alongside now. Like I said, I don't know if this will bring these absolutely level, but if you look under the water, there's a little bit of a ridge there by the edge. I, I hope this is going to kind of pull up and dock okay. I do not want to get stuck. That's the last thing I want to do. So if I can line this up, hopefully, let's get that right up along. Oh, I might be too far out. Well, I don't know. It might work. You might need to move those bridge mats a little bit. But let's see, shall we? Let's take straps. Hang on. Straps off. I'm going to take that out and put that on the deck because we can use that. Again, hopefully that won't disappear. Let's jump in the Land Rover. Fingers crossed this works. I don't see any reason why it won't. There's a little bit of a ridge there, but it should be okay as long as these don't move. <laughs> now... We've got a ridge up or a ridge down, and I suppose it depends on, on the height when you look at it. So the NMC bridge mats, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Um, if I just put a bridge mat there, but you've got a bit of a bump up, but you've got a larger bump there, these have got these slight ramp bits. They could probably do with going forward a little bit. I was worried about them overhanging, but actually, you know what? They could probably do with just going, just nudged a hair forward, and that would be almost perfect. I suppose things to do would be to push them forward too far, then when you back the barge up, the barge will seat them into a position where they need to be. But they work. They didn't seem to. They're quite heavy. I don't know how they'd be because you've got quite a steep ridge here with a lorry or something like that. But if you're careful, it will work. So from here, so we go. Goldie docks. <laughs> All those ideas, solid gold. Let's take these up. There should be two gold bars at the gold mine already. We'll put them on the conveyor. And let's get them sold. I may go around and grab some more at some point. I know, like I say, I'm pretty sure in my head where most of them are. There'll be a couple that I won't remember and I'm sure I'll get there. Let's turn the engine off, hop out. So the conveyor belt is running. This is where you bring them to. There's two already here. Yeah, should have done them last night when it was 16 and a bit, but it doesn't matter. And like I said earlier, if you don't want to do gold bars, if you think this is cheating, if you don't think it's right, or that's, you don't have to, absolutely don't. I wanted to show it. I wanted to show these being used because I, I think it's a, it's brilliant. I love this whole idea with the gold mine. If you didn't watch my map tour, you've got the little bit here for getting all the dirt and stuff out and hopefully leaving the gold behind. As you can see, the deposits there. But you can turn that off. There's loads of bits around the map where you've got things that are animated that you can turn off if you're having frame rate drops or you just the noise is annoying you or whatever it might be. You can turn them off. Again, love that as a feature. So let's get those out. Glad I didn't drop one <laughs> through the floor. And someone else messaged me 
to say that that might be bear and pepper i'm trying to think now that one or two that they'd had had dropped and they'd gone through the floor and they couldn't find them but they did respawn back at the dock on the ship which is you know, unusual um i haven't tried that i don't know if that's the case it may have been a glitch it may be that it worked for them and i, I don't know but potentially if you do lose some after a little bit of time they, they reappear back there I, I, what i say i'm just going on what i've been told but i have to say that worked well it certainly worked better than i thought it was good now I, yeah i could have driven a lot quicker initially because i was showing the stuff off but i think using that it's pretty cool let's see about driving back onto it the skid still loaded can go i don't know how i'm going to be for landscaping here whether it will let me so i like the idea of having a docking point here one at the sawmill potentially one at the spinnery maybe don't know whenever i'll have a fiddle around maybe off camera so as long as i don't hit these too hard they should stay in place yeah. <laughs> i don't know i'm so why i'm so happy with that and so i'm just that it was brilliant that works really really well and with that we have come to the end of the episode i need to whiz off now and collect silly g can I do the straps from here or do they have to be done? That's on the vehicle. And now we'll top up. Nope, missed completely. Actually, you know what? Will it let me drive forward? Let's hop the straps. It's about there. I don't need to hop them all the way back. <laughs> there we go. We're tied down. And let's head back. I hope you enjoyed it. Our crops are in the ground. They are growing. I think next is going to be grass for sheep. And we'll have a look at potentially, like I say, putting a sheep pen in for dairy sheep. And then we're going to get across the island. We're going to do all sorts of stuff. I do want to use the barge to sell some produce as well because it's here and there's a sell point for doing it. So I'm going to take advantage of that. What else? All sorts of stuff. We'll we'll get around to it all. And like I say, I'm going to continue to try and find odds and ends and bits of mods and things that I haven't used before. So if you have enjoyed it, if you're still enjoying it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>